the hell is this? I didn't realize you were behind all of this. I thought you were one of us this whole time. How could you do this to us? Oh, thank you. My name is Bunta Fujimura, a feature actor and star. I'm a junior at Asmani High. I'm with an agency called Monix. I would eventually like to be a part of the Morodas agency that Moroboshi-sama started up, but... Ah, oh, fail... again... It's been like 500 rejections now. I thought I was doing pretty good this time around. I couldn't really pass any auditions. I just need one chance. One chance that I can prove everyone wrong. I used to be in a really big and famous drama once. I played a poor child that was walking in the town. Total time on the screen? One second. I was able to do that difficult role in such a short time. How am I rejected again? Uh, sorry, you okay? Oh, thanks for picking it up. What was that about? Her name is Shiho Ando. She's one of the weirdos of her class. What's weird about her? She's beyond bland and boring. She's incredibly quiet too. Even when we said hello at the start of the semester. I... I... Let's... Yes! Huh? Your name is she? I couldn't hear her, so I had to check the class roll call to see what her name was. <sighs> I can't really speak using my diaphragm. I should practice speaking. My favorite event was starting up soon. It was going to be a school-wide drama contest. I was pushing for Money Dorella this time around. I wrote the script staying up all night. I have all the outfits designed and everything. Mmm, you're really into this. This is the one event that I can really show off. Okay, no naysayers, so let's go with that. That's how we decided that we were going to be doing Money Dorella this year. Ugh, <sighs> Money Dorella. <laughs> Who's gonna play the heroine? I really don't want to do this. The heroine, huh? <sighs> I'm not able to talk well. Even if I could try talking, they usually can't tell what I'm saying because my voice is too small. I could never be the heroine. Then, something happened that allowed me to really change. Hey, let's go to karaoke after class today. Hey, Shiho, you wanna go too? Huh? Haha, <laughs> she's not gonna go. Uh, that's right. I would say no if it was how I normally was. But I mustered up my courage today. Uh, uh, I'll go. Huh? You'll go? If I go to karaoke with my classmates, I should be able to make friends normally. That's what I thought, but... Let's all sing one phrase each. I know this song. My phrase is... I don't like... I don't like... I... Huh? huh? The mood was changing quickly. The song was just playing in the background. Shiho! That's where you sing! Yeah! It's the best part, so you gotta make sure you really take it seriously! I screwed up now. I was so embarrassed that before I knew it, I was running out of the karaoke. <sighs> what do I do? I ran away without saying anything. Wait, where's my wallet? Apparently, I had dropped my wallet. Today is really a bad day. Huh? Oh, wait, did she pick it up for me? Wait, why is she putting it away in her bag? Eh, 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 ex, ex, that, 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 that's my, my... I couldn't say a simple sentence. Excuse me, that's mine. What? I don't know what you're trying to say, but I'm busy. But... Right as I was about to give up on my wallet. Leave the wallet. Jacobi from the class over helped me out. W wallet w What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You picked up a wallet and stuck it in your purse. Give it back. W what's going on? A fight? I don't know. That lady seems to have stolen that girl's purse. 
What? Oh, that's messed up. Ugh, I'll give it back, damn it! I had heard he was a delinquent, so I figured he would be scary. S six. Huh? Dude, I don't know why you can't speak, but you won't be able to protect yourself like that. The next day, I was thinking about what Jakobi kun had said. I can't keep this up. I need to change. First, I need to apologize for leaving the karaoke without saying anything. Uh, uh, what's up? I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm sorry about yesterday. I s s yes. T yes? Uh, I screwed up. I was embarrassed and ran away again. This is what happens all the time. But something happened that let me change. Anyone who's interested in playing the role of the heroine in the play? I yeah. Mani Dorello is beautiful and strong. There aren't many roles worth playing like that. Ugh, no one wants to do that. Oh, I got it. How about Shiho? For some reason, my name was thrown into the mix. What? True! She does seem like a heroine. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Do it! Me. The heroine? You'll do it for me? Oh, thank you! <laughs> I don't get it, but I'm glad that she's in the mood. That's how I ended up being the heroine for the play. I have no confidence, but he's counting on me. I need to do this. I started practicing at the park every day on my own. Then, one day... A... A... B... C... D... Uh, I can't say anything. Huh? Shiho? You practicing your voice? You want me to teach you? I'm pretty good and I've even been in a super popular drama. Huh? B bye I got embarrassed by Bunta and ran away. The next day... Hey, come on guys, let's practice for Money Dorella! Everyone didn't seem to share Bunta's enthusiasm. Nope, I don't wanna. Uh, I'm a little busy. Huh? What about practice? Y you'll practice, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great! Thanks. I saw you practicing at the park, too. I was the heroine, so I couldn't say no. I started practicing with him. Alright, let's get started. <clears throat> what are these shoes? They're almost as big as my sleeves. Come on, Shiho. It's like a giant grandma butt. It's... <sighs> huh? Wait, hang on! I ran away again. I ran from the karaoke, from practicing at the park, and from practicing from the script. Uh, this is what happens, because I can't talk. My parents lost hope in me, and my friends left me. No one would be my friend. I need to work hard. I decided to change. I couldn't speak, but I could start by doing what I could. <clears throat> My name is Mami Dorella. I'm going to be the one that will be Moroboshi-sama's shoes. Please, step on me, Moroboshi-sama. Come on! Come on! Huh? Wh what is that noise? Oh, the masked man slowly crept up towards me. Screaming won't help you. His voice was completely changed. It almost sounded like he had inhaled helium. You can't speak up? <laughs> this is perfect. The masked man brought his bat up because he knew I couldn't speak. The day of the play, we had practiced hard and it was finally our turn. I started the final check before we got started. However... Shiho isn't here yet? Uh, she must have gotten spooked. You shouldn't have asked Shiho to play such an important part. You can't have Money Dorella not be in the play of Money Dorella. Shiho wouldn't show up. No, she was working hard before the play. She's going to show up. 
But what if she doesn't? The class before us finished, and it was our turn. <sighs> Where's she, Ho? Everything is going to be for nothing. Next up, we've got Money Dorella. It was finally about to start. It was right as I was about to give up. Oh, sorry for keeping you guys waiting. Shiho! No. Let's go! My name is Money Dorella. I am Motoboshi Sama's shoes. Of course not! I was the one that was stepped on by Motoboshi Sama as his shoe. If you don't believe me, step on me, Motoboshi Sama. If you enjoy it, then I am your shoe. That acting, that facial expression, that girl, Shiho is. Is that really Shiho? She's completely different. Shiho is the beautiful girl that worked at Moro Dust Talent Agency. She's the genius child actress. I could tell by her face. The girl that was the main character of the drama that I played the town child for a second. Those shining eyes, the way she speaks, the beautiful voice. I know that she's a genius girl from Morodas because I was on set with her. Huh? What? Shiho! Great job! Oh, you did great! Oh, th thank you. It was fun acting for the first time in a while. Why did you hide it for so long? Yeah, um... <sighs> while I was playing the parts of various roles, I slowly started getting confused as to which person was really me. Then I got too scared to talk, so I was struggling for the longest time. But then I was practicing at the park when... <laughs> you can't speak up? <laughs> this is perfect. The masked man swung his bat at me. Uh, huh? <laughs> Great job. To Yakobi, I was able to speak again. <sighs> kind of tough love, but... We had the genius young actress on our side. Our class immediately won. I, on the other hand... Please, teach me! I want to pass an audition! I I if you're okay with a girl like me... I've been practicing hard towards my 501st audition. I'm going to be a star! Uh, Bunta, calm down. This is Morostar Wedding, a wedding venue where a bride in a snow-white gown ties the knot with her groom. But behind the scenes... The lights and cameras are ready! Let's go to the next menu then! Sorry, my hands are full right now. The staff is running around busily. Later, the next groom hasn't arrived yet. There's a possibility he ran away. What? Are you serious? I'll check with the bride first! My name is Seiji Hashiratani, 26 years old. Usually, I'm not a staff member here, but my boss asked me to help out today out of the blue. Three hours later... Ah, uh, thanks everyone for your hard work. It must have been difficult. That's the first time a groom came late and changed his bride right before. You came on the busiest day. Anyway, I'm glad it went well. I was assigned to the part-time team. There were three female college students and Keita-san was the leader. Hey guys, listen. I exchanged numbers with a super handsome guy at school. We're going on a date next time. I finally found the right guy for me the other day too, and we made a promise to go on a date. I actually have a date with a handsome guy too. Oh, you guys like handsome guys too. Of course. At the time. We were just getting excited about going on a date with a good-looking guy. But that was the beginning of our tragedy. Little, Little did we know. know. Oh, right! We need to buy some clothes for our date. But I don't have that much money. I donated too much. I spend my part-time salary as soon as I get paid, too. Oh, I have a good idea. Really? really? What, what is, is it? it? So, we want you to buy us some clothes with your part-time pay. What? You don't have things to do, do you? What do you usually spend on? It's much more sensible to spend it on clothes for our dates. Oh, no. That's a bit... 
The three part-timers started asking me to buy their clothes for them. You guys work part-time too, so buy it with your own money. But we don't have that much money to spare. Hey, please. If you don't mind. Ah, <sighs> fine. What? Really? Yay! Yay! I couldn't refuse, so I agreed. Shopping day. Have you decided what you're going to buy? Of course! I'll buy something cute! We're college girls. We know fashion. We've been researching for this day. You'll get to see how fashionable we are. You better thank us. Uh, huh. It's not like I'm interested, though. We're going to use all your money! Yay! What should I buy? The three of them pushed me around, and we went to shopping. Ta-da! What do you think? I'm thinking of this one. Uh, how do I look? <laughs> the girls picked out their clothes as if they were having a fashion show. No good. Do they think revealing clothes are cute? Makes them look kind of poor, too. Uh, this is getting on my nerves. Are you seriously thinking of going on a date in that outfit? Isn't it nice? We look good, don't we? <sighs> I let out a loud sigh in disbelief. What? Are we too cute for words? Of course we are. We're so pretty. Yay! Uh, I can't take this anymore. No, it's the other way around. It's awful. Do you even know what fashion is? All three of you, take it off now! What are you doing? What's wrong with this fashion? I was really confident about this! What's good about this? You think you'll look cute if you show your shoulders? <laughs> Oddly revealing. The outfit makes you look poor. This is not fashion. So, so you're saying you have good taste? Uh, of course. I'll pick it out for you. I couldn't stop myself from meddling and ended up styling the three of them. What is this? I'm so pretty. It's so cute. I'll get him to fall in love if I go on the date like this. This is much better than what I wore earlier. It makes me feel more comfortable. Thanks. And so the second fashion show was held. The girls seem to be very pleased. Huh, you're welcome. But why do you have such good taste? I just know a little bit more about fashion than the average person. I'm always looking at models and stuff as a hobby. Oh, I see. That makes sense. The three girls who were satisfied gathered up their clothes and headed to the cashier. But... The total is 120,000 yen. It, what? No way! That much? That's so expensive! That's a year's worth of part-time work! They were shocked with the bill, which was higher than expected. You can't make that money part-time, but... Oh well. Okay, okay, I'll buy it for you. I picked out the clothes in the first place. Huh? Really? Wow, you're rich! Thank you so much! I paid for the clothes out of my own pocket and gave it to them as a gift. And a week later, on the day of my date... <laughs> oh, I'm excited for my date! My date is with an incredibly handsome man named Jin Guji. Oh, I can't wait to see him. <sighs> okay, we're supposed to meet here... Hmm? Huh? N Noriko? Hitomi's here too? What? Why are you two here? This is where I'm meeting my date. While well, we were all confused. Oh, everyone's already here. My sweetheart Jinguji just arrived. Oh, oh Jinguji! Wait, 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 what? Jinguji, weren't you supposed to go on a date with me today? Hmm? I'm going on a date with all of you. More the merrier, right? N no way. I thought a date is for two. I didn't think it would be a group date. Let's go, then. The date began, and we went shopping and then to the aquarium afterwards. 
<laughs> the aquarium was fun. I haven't been in a while. Yeah! It's fun anywhere if it's with you, Chinguji. I want to stay with you. Chinguji, I bought ice cream. Here. But it, it doesn't, doesn't really feel like a date because there's, there's three, three of us. us. If that's the case... Chinguji! I like you! Go out with me! Huh? That's not fair! I think we're more compatible. I... I... I will live with you for the rest of my life, Chinguji! Oh, I appreciate it, but I'm sorry. I can't go out with you guys. What? How come? Hmm... Something just doesn't feel right. And I'm sure you deserve someone better <laughs> than a person like me. No way. Oh no. Like this, the group date and our love came to an unfortunate end. The day after the date with the three of them, Keita-san and I asked the three of them how it went. Uh, it was no good. I can't believe I got rejected. I was so shocked I only slept for... Eight hours! What? You got rejected? They all failed. And on top of that... What? All three of you went on a date with the same person at the same time? Uh, that's complicated. It was an ugly way to get rejected, too. I... I see. But you never know, so uh, don't give up. Uh, he's too far away from us. There's no way... He decided to go on a date with all of us, and he didn't care about us in the first place! <laughs> oh, don't cry! It's okay! You're giving up too soon. What? I'll make you prettier. What? All three of them got rejected. That was a shock, even for me. How can we be prettier than this? There are plenty of ways to be prettier than you are now. You're gonna tell us to polish up on our personalities or something, aren't you? Of course, personality is important too. But let's polish the looks first. You have to work hard to become a woman worthy of him. If the guy is incredibly good looking, you all need to be incredibly pretty too. Become incredibly pretty? Is that possible? Yeah, leave it to me. I styled them and they got rejected. I can't believe it. I won't let this end here. I was fired up. I must. I will make these three prettier. I styled them as best as I could. Nene, you have a cheerful personality, but you wear a lot of makeup. So I'll draw your eyeliner down a bit. Uh, okay. Noriko, you have a mature look, so instead of trying to look cute, let's add waves to your hair to emphasize your maturity. What? Uh, oh, okay. Hitomi, you always wear light makeup. So let's give you a different look with this eyeliner. Th thank you. And then... W wow, is this really... me? How can I change this much? I look so different. I can't believe it. I style them to the best of my ability. I change their makeup and hairstyles and they look even prettier. Last time too, but how do you have such good taste? I thought the same. You can't do this if it's just a hobby, can you? Maybe Seiji-san's actually someone brilliant. Seiji? Who are you? Under the circumstances, it seems harder to hide it. I decided to confide in them honestly. I'm actually a professional stylist. What? A, a professional stylist? Yeah. Have you ever heard of the entertainment agency Morodas Production? I'm a stylist there. What? That's the entertainment agency Morobushi-san runs, right? Are you serious? So that's why you have such good taste? Yeah, I style and do makeup for celebrities every day. Although, now I'm working here part-time because my boss told me to with reason. He had no idea. That's why. I've done this much. Now... Hmm? Wait a minute. All three of them like the same person. Well, no hard feelings there, I guess. Alright, go ask him out on another date. I'm sure he'll be surprised too. Maybe one of them will get to go out with them. 
If that happens, I thought of having a consolation party for the other two, but... Yeah, but... I fell in love with Seiji! Because you made us this pretty! What? Me too! Seiji's the only one good enough for me! What? I like you better! I want to be with you 24 hours a day! What? <sighs> Please, Please go, go out, out with me! me. What do you mean? What a completely unexpected turn of events. Ah, that's the same exact situation. But what are you going to do, Seiji? Uh, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Pick one out of the three of us. I won't hold it against you no matter who you choose. Please. While I was confused, they started pushing me to decide. If that's the case, I'm a man too. The, the person I like most is... A few days later... Seiji, thanks for helping Keita. No problem. It was a good experience for me. By the way, I heard you got asked out by the three girls. <laughs> of course you know about that. So, who did you choose? Well, it's someone with a pretty smile. And a girl I think would be fun to be around. I like you. Please go out with me. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> no way! Do you think you're good enough for someone like me? <laughs> no way. Oh, that guy. How oh, foolish asking someone out in class. And there's no way a dull guy like that would be good enough for her. But I'll give you a chance. Huh? Really? Yes, I'll tell you the details tomorrow. All the boys in our class are welcome. Uh, okay. What? what? A, chance. a chance? My name is Kenta, a junior in high school. As you can see, I'm a dull guy. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate, Kenta. Yeah. I didn't think you would do something that bold, yeah. I've always thought Runa was pretty since I first saw her on TV. Runa is a beautiful soccer player who is often on TV, which makes everyone admire her. I was so excited when we were put in the same class. I was hoping I could have a cute girlfriend like her one day. So you took the gamble of a lifetime, huh? You're a warrior. That's not something anyone can do, right? Yeah. Although I got rejected in the end. No, you did great. Thanks. And the next day, Runa called all the boys just as she declared. Hey, listen. I'm going to give you all a chance. Wait, what? Are you serious? What chance? My dream is to make a soccer team with only my own kids one day. Only with your own kids? A soccer team? So, for this dream, if any of you guys have the worthy sperm, I'll marry you right away. She made the shocking statement that she wants to have 11 children. Tick tock, tick tock, time is running out to fulfill my dream, so I'm going to give you all a chance. Yeah, alright. That's a no brainer. Marrying Runa right away. Ugh. I wonder if my sperm is worthy. Runa is a month away from an important match. The sperm battle is scheduled to take place after school, a month after the match. I'll have it measured thoroughly by a professional laboratory, okay? Okay! A few days later, Runa sent me the scoring criteria. I'm not confident I have the best sperm, but I want to marry her. Alright, let's do it! Marriage was a dream of a dream and I never thought I could do in my lifetime. So for me, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Kenta, I'm sorry, but... I'm gonna try to marry Runa, too. Me, too. This opportunity will never come again, yeah? Y you too? <sighs> of course, everyone admires Runa. It would be amazing if any of us could get married with her, wouldn't it? Of course, we're a group of dull guys after all. It's not something to brag about, but if that happens, we could get back at the popular kids, yeah? 
<laughs> yeah, everyone's a rival now. But whatever the outcome, we're still friends. Yeah! yeah. If any of us marries Runa, I would be so proud. That's what I seriously thought. First, we need to find out how to increase fertility. We started studying about sperm before the competition. Hmm, yeah. In order for the sperm to be healthy, we need to eat foods that are good for the sperm, right? Yeah, you're right. Fish, peanuts, vegetables, fruits. We ate things like that every day. Apparently, it's not just about the food. Yeah, that's right. It's also important to exercise and build muscle, too. Yeah, if you get stronger, your sperm will be stronger too. We need to exercise to release testosterone. As a result of training hard, which I'm not used to. Ouch, I can't move. <sighs> it's because we're not used to this. But this is a sign that our muscles are growing. It still hurts though. We suffered from sore muscles. And this is just the beginning. Then, one day... When we were running as usual... Hey look, the nerds are running. That's hilarious. There's no point running if you're a nerd. To our bad luck, the guys from the soccer team started mocking us. Y you don't know that! Then why don't we race from here to that bridge? L let's do it! <sighs> About 50 meters. Let's do it! I was confident, which was uncharacteristic of my usual self. I felt like my body and mind was stronger now that I started exercising. We've been working out these past few days, too. Are you ready? Y yeah but We were no match for the guys on the soccer team who train regularly. <laughs> there were nothing after all. Well, at least it was a good warm-up. <sighs> Damn it. They beat us with ease. Damn it, I'm frustrated. I wonder if those are the type of guys that Runa would pick. Guys, wait! I know it's frustrating because we lost, but what we need to train is the strength of our sperm. It doesn't matter how fast you are. Yeah, you're right. Let's just ignore them, yeah! It was when we got fired up again. All of our phones vibrated, and when I checked... I've hired a professional to measure the fertility by quantifying sperm count and movement. Bring your own sperm in a special envelope. It was a text from Runa. <sighs> Tomorrow's finally the day. We've been working all this time just for this day. Yeah, we can do it. That's right, one of us will get to marry Runa. Tomorrow, one of us might become Runa's husband. That thought filled my head and kept me awake at night. And on the day of the sperm contest... Don't forget to write your name! Uh, here you go, Runa! I hope my sperm gets chosen. Okay, thanks. The guys line up and give her the envelope with their names on it as Runa receives them with a smile. I was nervous too, and while trying to control my trembling hands... Uh, here you go. Yeah! I hand the envelope to Runa. <sighs> I wonder if my ideal man is here. Oh, I hope so. If my sperm is the best, I get to marry Runa. And if I do, Runa would make for such a good wife. I was imagining what Runa would be like in the future. The next day, the results were posted on the board in the classroom. Eh? Is that all? All of the numbers are lower than I thought. I can't be satisfied with these. Uh, are you serious? Does that mean no one gets to marry her? No. Everyone's shoulders dropped at Runa's reaction. But I was shocked even more. The reason being... Kent is a zero. That's crazy. Does that mean he has no vitality in his sperm? I feel kind of bad for him. My result was a zero. B but I tried so hard. The number zero made me feel like I had no strength as a man. Kenta, you must be shocked. I couldn't accept the result. 
Is it true that I have no fertility? The results must be wrong. I ran into the Sperm Vitality Institute, the same specialized institute that Runa used to have it re-examined. Please re-examine it. I'm so healthy. Hey, you. Stop. I just need you to check it one more time. I begged desperately, but there was no way I could make such a reckless request. Hey, we need backup. There's a student causing a scene. I'm telling you, I can't be convinced with these results. Stay still. I was captured easily by a few guards. Hmm, so this is it. The Sperm Vitality Institute. My name is Moroboshi. I'm the head of the Moroboshi Group, one of the world's leading conglomerates. And I'm a businessman, doctor, and scientist. As a reproduction specialist, I'm visiting the Sperm Vitality Institute for technical cooperation. Hmm, is that... I found a boy being captured by the guards and decided to talk to him. What's going on? This boy was causing a scene. No! I'm here to have a re-examination because I don't think the results were correct. Results? The boy then gave me an explanation of the situation. And I wasn't convinced, which is why I came here. Hmm, I see. If he's this desperate... Alright, let me look into it. What? Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on me. Oh, thank you! Shortly after, I decided to check the boy's sperm levels at Moroboshi General Hospital. And the results... Wh what the... The next day... Guys, listen! I got a re-examination, and it turns out that my sperm is super fertile! I was so happy, I told everyone about it as soon as I got to the classroom. What? Are you serious? But the numbers were on the board yesterday. That was a mistake! Then prove it! No one believed me, so I showed them the results of the re-examination. Wow, don't lie, man. You're really gonna go that far? <sighs> Nobody believes me. It was at that moment when I was feeling down. What Kenta is saying isn't a lie. <gasps> is he real? Moroboshi-san entered the classroom. I looked into it just this once, and the results were shocking. The reason he got a zero last time was because the sperm was moving so fast it couldn't be seen. But, as it turns out, he has phenomenal sperm. Uh, are you serious? So it wasn't a lie. Everyone believed Moroboshi-san's words. The reason why Moroboshi-san was here is because... Kenta, will you let me study your sperm once a month? What? I want to research strong sperm. Okay, in exchange... I asked Moroboshi-san to explain everything for me at school. <laughs> no problem. No one would believe me anyway. But if it's Moroboshi-san... After Moroboshi-san finished explaining, Runa was looking at me in a different way than before. It was as if she finally found the gem she had been looking for. Kenta's sperm was that powerful. Amazing! Amazing! This is it! This is what I was looking for! Runa, I... Uh, I... Follow me! Runa grabbed my arm and dragged me along. Uh, hey, Runa! What's going on all of a sudden? Let's get married right now! Give me your sperm right now! What? Uh, wait! All of my classmates were stunned as they watched the scene. He's finally... Going to be a man. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's have him tell us how it went later, my friend. Then, Runa took me outside of the school. R Runa, where are you taking me? What do you mean? My house, of course. I have to introduce you to my parents. And then... The wait! What's wrong? Honey? I... 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 I can't get married to you, Runa. What? How, how, how come? I couldn't believe what I said myself. With these results, I got a lot of confidence. 
I might have more potential in areas I don't even know about myself. So I can't get married to you, Runa. Sorry. You're kidding. How is that possible? Bye then. I hope your dream comes true, Runa. I'll study even harder so I can help Moroboshi-san. There was a world where men and women were completely separated. Men had their country and women had their own too. They didn't know about each other, and they never saw their parents as everyone conceived through artificial insemination. In that kind of world... Women are just urban legends. Did they even actually exist? It must be a hoax, right? I wish I could see one. Just once. I have something good for you boys. Wait, is that...? It's a magazine where you can see women. I bought it at the black market. It costed 3k. Wait, this is what a woman is? Seriously? They exist? They look completely different. Like, softer. <laughs> All right? I want to be surrounded by women. Gaga, this is wrong. Again. Uh, sorry, sir. My name is Ritsuya Kaga. I'm just a regular 23-year-old office worker. After seeing women for the first time last night, I couldn't focus on my job. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Ritsia. You've been acting all nervous today, man. I couldn't forget about the women I saw last night. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have shown you, huh? Women are just myths, man. Forget about it. Yeah, right. On the other hand... Put the material over here. Okay, I'll get in the crane. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this asphalt. One, two, three! Pull, pull! Wow, look at how much we got! Just like the men's country, the general female public don't know men. Here's your coffee combo. My name is Kokoro Nanjo. I'm a 23-year-old waitress. I've worked at this restaurant since I was 18, and have been a waitress for five years, but... Hey, do you know what kind of a creature a man is? Huh? Um, no, not at all. They are apparently completely different from us, and are all hard and stuff. Huh? Really? Yeah, they don't have anything that swells out either. They're all hairy and have something weird that dangles. W wow. Men. I wonder if they really exist. I barely make any money and I don't have the skills or courage to change jobs. That's who I am. One day... Take this to the VIP room, please. Yes, ma'am. Here you are. As I carried the food to the VIP room, I noticed the customers were staring at a photo. This is nice, isn't it? What? I don't know, he's all bulky. Kinda scary. I glanced at the photo and... There was a human-like thing that was clearly not a woman and all cut. Huh? Is this a man? Hey, what the hell? Put the food down and get out! S sorry ma'am, excuse me. <sighs> I screwed up again. After seeing that photo, I really can't focus. That night, I was exhausted after work. I was heading home. Then, an expensive looking car suddenly stopped in front of me and three men came out. What? Sorry for making you hurry. It's fine. Yeah, I don't mind. They walked into a nearby building. W what was that about? I was confused before I looked down towards the ground. There was a single ticket. What is this ticket? Did they drop it? What is this ticket for? Huh? This is... On that ticket, it read, No way. There weren't actually just fairy tales and myths? I took that ticket and walked home. I was staring at it for a while. I always thought that it was just a legend, but if this ticket exists, then they must exist too, right? This was a fairy ticket, and on the backside, it had a time and day. If it exists, I want to go. If I go here, I can ride a fairy to the women's country. I need to see... I need to see a woman! A few days later, I went to the ferry port and walked onto the ferry like I was supposed to be there. The boat was full of clearly high-class men. There are so many. Are they all going to the women's country? Wait, those people... Oh, we're about to leave. Is he not coming? He apparently dropped his ticket. That's unfortunate. I've got that ticket. It costs like 100k for a ticket. Seriously, unfortunate. What? This costs 100k? No way! All these people paid for it. How rich are they? 
I shouldn't have just picked this up and used it. I realized the big mistake I made and tried to get off the boat. Thank you for riding the boat destined for the country of women. This boat is now on its way to the country of women. Oh shoot, we already left port. A few hours later. Gentlemen, we will be arriving shortly to the country of women. Once we make port, we ask you to go through customs and immigration in a single file line. Uh, customs? This isn't good. They're gonna figure out that I didn't pay for this ticket. There was already a line of men at the exit. I didn't line up though. I was looking for another exit off the boat. If I stay here, I'm just going to be busted. Where's the exit? I got outside and ran for a while before I found a large fence, but... It's big, but I can climb it. Here we go. I climbed the fence and moved forward. This is the VIP area that only VIPs can come to in the women's country. It's the only place in this world where men and women can be together. Welcome to the country of women. Have a lot of fun. This is indeed amazing. Right? Amazing. Here, have something to drink. Oh, thank you. If there's something you'd like to eat, just let us know. Uh, sure. <laughs> Sarah, have all the fun you can, buddy. Tenguji sama you came! Oh, I'm just here because someone I know wanted me to come. But I'm so happy. Let's go on a date over there. I should be fine this far out, right? When I calmed down and looked at the people walking around, I just saw women like the one in the magazine talking and walking around. W women really do exist. They're walking, talking. Also, they really do have big chests. They all smell so good. Right at that moment, watch out! I jumped out and saved a little girl. Uh, are you okay? Thank you for saving me. C crap my hood! Hey, what's up with that person? Is that a man? They really exist? Crap, they found me out! I ran out of there in a hurry. I could hear people screaming and yelling along with the siren of a police car. Shit, shit, shit! Is this a subway? I just need to get on this and go far. I tried to get on the subway when... I ran into a woman coming out of the subway. Uh, ow! I'm sorry, I was thinking about something, huh? Uh, my hoodie had fallen off again and she saw my face. Wait, are you what they call a man? What do I do? I'm being chased! Uh, I'm sorry, I won't do anything. Uh, just let me leave. I tried to deal with it, but... You're running. How about you hide at my house? Huh? The woman reacted differently than what I expected. This is my house. I don't think they'll find you here. Th thank you. I followed her as she suggested. My name is Kokoro. What about you? Uh, I'm Rizia. I've never heard of that name. Are you really a man? Yes. I knew it! Country of Men wasn't just a legend. How did you make it to our country? I picked up a ferry ticket and got on. It took me here. I see. That kind of thing exists, huh? Can I get a good look at you? Sh uh, sure. W what is this? My heart is fluttering. Looking at Kokoro-san made me feel... strange. Well, this was unfolding. Have you seen any suspicious people around here? No, can't say I have. There was a female police officer looking for me. The police are already here! They're... They must be looking for me! They're going to come here soon! Hide under the bed! Uh, okay! I ran under the bed in a hurry. They might know what I look like from the security cameras too! I'm going to hide! <laughs> We're so squashed together. Just hang on till this passes, okay? Uh, yeah. Wow, she smells so good. And she's so soft. Her hair is so silky. I was close to her, and I could hear my heart pounding. Oh, she smells so good. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> ah huh? Ritsia san, shh. I let my guard down and let a sneeze slip out. I heard a deep voice. He's here. He's here! A cough showed up after they heard my sneeze and I was found immediately. He's here! He's under the bed! Got him! I was then taken to questioning by the police. Even the VIPs aren't allowed in this district. Those people must be like special forces. Um, my stomach started to hurt before I walked through customs and before I knew it, I had left from the VIP area. Show me your ticket then. Uh, sure. 
I gave the ticket to her, but the next statement... I'm going to have to check your ID as well. <sighs> I knew I was screwed when I handed over my ID. Hey, this ID isn't on the visa list. Who the hell are you? I, a man, wandered into the country of women. That little curiosity would evolve into a large catastrophe that would involve the world. Mm, the animals in the forest are acting strange recently. Something might be happening soon. Moroboshi-sama, we have a situation! There's a huge movement in the Mani Asia tectonic plate! If this continues, this country is... This isn't good. We need to call the Prime Minister right now! Sir! We have breaking news! The Mani Asia plate is sinking and researchers believe that our country will be completely sunken within a week! We ask all citizens of this country, please leave and evacuate immediately! I repeat, this country will sink within a week! N no way! The country is sinking. I'm sure the media are just playing it up again, right? The national crisis that suddenly arose caused panic amongst the citizens. Get out of the way! I'm getting on this plane, damn it! You get out of the way! I was here first! Someone please give me a plane ticket! W what do we do, honey? The country is shrieking. We need to secure tickets going overseas ASAP. We'll figure it out from there. We managed to get plane tickets before heading to the airport. I think you really saved us, honey. <laughs> I can be a hero too. You're awesome, Dad. Alright, let's check in. That's how all four of us are supposed to evacuate. We were a little happy before. <laughs> There's a missing ticket! That's not possible! I know I reserved three! Yes, you did, but you have four passports, sir. Oh! How could I? I didn't count myself! We were short a ticket. Can we please get one more ticket? All of the planes are full already. Dad, it's fine. You three go ahead. I'll figure things out, but Sosuke is only five. He can't do anything without you two. Bro! Really? Great, thanks man. Good luck! I watched my family leave the country before returning back home alone. The Mani Asia tectonic plate has been sinking and it has been accelerating its speed. There was a section of the country that has finally sunken into the ocean. Yamaguchi is live on scene. Yes, the cliff over there is where the central Mani Island was up until yesterday. The whole island has sunk and there is nothing remaining at all. The island only had a population of about 10 people, and everyone had already evacuated so there are no casualties, but... It was a small island, sure, but a country's island sunk. People who hadn't evacuated yet started becoming anxious. We need to get out of here! Come on, make a boat with this wood! But... Is this going to be enough? It's better than doing nothing. Hurry up! People even started trying to make their own lifeboats. I can't get another ticket or make a boat. Oh well. At the time, I didn't really think much about it. But now I was getting worried. I decided to go to the evacuation center. Those of you who are here with your family, go to the senior rooms, please. If you're here alone or with one other person, go to the freshman area. Hey you. Did you get one of the rice balls? One person gets two rice balls and some miso soup. Eat up and rest. Uh, thank you. Yakubi-san, right? You're not going to evacuate off the island? Huh? Why would I run? This is my hometown. If it sinks, it sinks. It's not worth panicking over. Right, guys? Yeah! yeah! We're going to follow you wherever! If you stay, we stay! It was a little heartwarming to see the camaraderie before I headed to my designated classroom. Then... You evacuated here too, huh? The girl from my classroom, Sakamoto-san, was also here. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to run into someone I know. Where's your family? Oh, my parents are on a business trip, so they're not here. I was going to evacuate with my younger sister, but I couldn't secure his tickets. I was excited to see a familiar face before I noticed the little girl behind Sakamoto-san. <laughs> what do you say? Hello. You guys are fairly far apart in age, huh? Is she about five years old right now? Yeah, exactly. She just turned five this year. My younger brother is five years old now too, so I figured she would be around the same age. I hadn't talked much to Sakamoto-san before, but the fact that I found someone I knew during an emergency like this was special enough. She also had a sibling that was far in age. We ended up hanging out. Hey sis, my head hurts. Huh? Let me see. Oh, you've got a fever! Let's take a temperature. Hana-chan looked quite sick and lethargic. The evacuation and living in the shelter must have made her sick. 
101, that's pretty bad. I can go look to see if there's something that's easier to eat. Th thank you! When I saw this young girl around the same age as my brother, I couldn't help but move. I tried to look for some medicine. Ah, Mortrin. We already gave out all of the cold medicine. I see. Okay. The limited resources that we had meant that we couldn't find what we needed. Uh, this isn't good. Does anyone have medicine? <coughs> Are you okay? I think I'm a little sick too. Maybe I'm tired. I need to sharpen up to be tough for you. Don't worry. I got it. I'm going to go look for medicine. N no, I can't ask that of you. Don't worry. We gotta help each other, right? If there was no medicine left at the shelter, I had to go look for some. The closest pharmacy from here is... I think there's a money drug right around the corner. Excuse me! Is there anyone here? I guess not. Most people had already finished evacuating. It was a ghost town. It's an emergency. I should be fine doing this, right? I took a single box of some cold medicine before rushing back to the shelter. What's going on? Did you hear? The second sinking is happening! This time it's West Money Money! How could the whole west side sink? Are we just going to sink under the ocean? No. Maybe it's only a matter of time before this area sinks too. Hey, I brought you octopus! Ah, oh, thanks sis! Are you sure we should be doing this right now though? Who knows when this country is going to sink? And that's exactly why it's the perfect time! My motto is to live life to the fullest every day! If it's going to sink anyway, I'm going to do what I want to be happy! That's true! I want to live life happily till the end! Yeah! I'm going to make a giant takoyaki! After the second sinking, the sinking events sped up rapidly. We started to see more and more sinking events happening. Money Money Northwest has sunken! East Money has a sink alert in effect! People in the affected areas, please evacuate immediately! There were more and more people coming to evacuate to our shelter. This is the only area left in the east area. If this area sinks, we've got nowhere left to run. Sis, what's gonna happen to us? <laughs> I thought I could save this country, but we're not going to make it in time. We need to move more people overseas. Nico, where are our jets? We have prepared 100 planes, sir. Hey, we need to run too. We're gonna get caught up in this. It's going to sink soon. I'm not running. I'm the top of the Motobushi Financial Group. I'm not going to abandon this country no matter what happens. Motobushi? Fine. If you want to stay till the very end, I'm going to do my best as well. I want you to use every single one of our 50 planes to fly people out now! I brought the medication back to them. Sakamoto-san, Hana-chan, are you guys okay? Saito-kun! Huh? W what's wrong? I brought you guys medicine. Thank you! Maybe she felt a little better after taking the medicine. Sakamoto-san and Hana-chan both looked much better. However, it didn't change the very real possibility that the island was sinking. I'm just so worried. I need to be tough for my sister. I don't blame you. Things are scary right now. I'd like for you to be by her side. <laughs> yeah. I was also worried in this situation as well. I think if they weren't around, I would have lost my marbles a long time ago. Emergency sinking alert! Mani Mani East is sinking! Those in the following districts, evacuate immediately! East Mani City! No... No way... <laughs> Saito-kun... This is the end... We hugged each other, before the school began to collapse. <laughs> I'm so scared... Dad... Mom... So scared... I hope you guys live a great life! I came to terms with what was coming and closed my eyes before. Huh? It stopped? It did. I is it over? We have breaking news! The Money Asia tectonic plate has stopped sinking! According to the research institutions, the sinking has completely stopped and shows no signs of proceeding. I repeat, the sinking has stopped! We are saved! We're not sinking? We're saved? We're saved! Yay! Yay! A miracle allowed us to stay alive. The areas that sank already, however, wouldn't return. Two-thirds of the country's land had sunk. What's going to happen to us? Saito-kun, um, did you want to live with us? I have no idea what's going to happen, but I think with you, we can get through it. I if you'd be willing to accept a guy like me... 
And that's how I started a family with a cute classmate I barely talked to. Here are last month's sales rankings. Koya was number one, Seiya number two, and Isa number three. The lowest ranked is Kaisei. Koya-san is incredible! Well, it's no surprise with my ability. <sighs> Last place again. I didn't get any nominations, and I just helped out from the side after all. Maybe I'm not suited for this. My name is Kisarazu Kaisei. Before working as a host, I was an ordinary company employee. Why did someone like that become a host? <sighs> Kaisei can't do his job at all. Yeah, I've never met someone who can't even print out documents. He just has a nice face. He should just become a host. Yeah, I can't even do my job. All I do is cause trouble. You're very handsome. Are you an office worker? Oh, yeah. You're an office worker. Oh, what a shame. You could make a lot of money as a host. Become a host? Can I do that? Of course, of course. With such sweet words, I was drawn into this world. This guy's boring. Change him. Uh, I'm sorry. You're handsome, but you don't even know how to talk to women. Uh, I'm sorry. Then one day... Uh, zero nominations again. Maybe it's because I'm too timid. I'm going to be poor this month at this rate. <laughs> I drank too much. Uh, what? Uh Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> That's your lunch, isn't it? You better eat it. What? When you're done eating, I'll let you be my assistant for my guest. Really? Okay. <laughs> you're so desperate. Don't you have any dignity? Uh, oh well, I'll let you help out, so you better thank me. Thank you. So, with his help, I made it to Kyoya-san's table. And while Kyoya-san was attending another customer... I don't buy bottles unless it's for Kyoya! Hurry up and bring him back! Uh, a customer who just stays here with her personal bottle without spending much. Yeah, of course it's not that easy. <sighs> what am I trying for? Uh, I'm starting to hate everything now. There's nothing but despair. Hmm? Uh... Looks like you're having a hard time too. I uh, quit my job and became a host. But I can't make any money because I have no talent. And the other hosts looked down on me. So I even ate my lunch off the floor. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh... Why am I complaining to a kid? <laughs> what? You're comforting a guy like me? Thanks. I think I can try a little harder. And the next day... I... Wait, you're the girl from yesterday. I couldn't do any better today either. <laughs> I'll give you this. Uh, did you make this for me? Yeah. Uh, for someone like me. Thank you. The small amount of time I spent with this girl became something I wouldn't trade for anything. Kaisei, you have a nomination from Table 5! What? For me? It's my first nomination. Yes! You look more handsome than in the ad. You're my type! Thank you very much. I'm very glad. You have a really nice voice, too. I like it. I'll order you an angel. Thank you. She already ordered a bottle of alcohol that costs half a million yen. Maybe that girl brought me good luck. That night, thanks to the bouquet you gave me, I was able to do well at work. Thanks. I'm glad. Today, I'll give you this. A name tag? <laughs> Did you make that? Yeah. Thanks. How is it? Does it suit me? It looks great. Thanks. I'll do my best tomorrow. The next day... Alright, let's work hard and earn a lot today. I'm going to make a lot of money and repay her. Hey, this new guy Jinguji who just joined us is crazy. He's already competing with Kyoya-san. <sighs> who does he think he is for a new guy? Is there someone that great? 
All right. I'll ask him for tips on customer service. Um, are you Jinguji? Yeah. Do you think you could teach me some tips on customer service? Please? Ignoring the others, I learned a lot from Jinguji. Thanks to that, my reputation among customers were gradually improving. <laughs> did you go to a nail salon today? Your nails are very pretty. Wait, did your vibe change a little? You're much better than before. Thank you. Huh? That name tag. Oh, my benefactor made this for me by hand. Huh, it's handmade. So cute. <laughs> Thank you very much. As I started to gain confidence in myself, Ah, uh, Kyoya, who was always number one. He was fired because he did something that crossed the owner. From now on, Jinguji will lead our store as the number one host. Only until I get bored, but thank you. Jinguji, that's amazing. I respect you. I was able to change so much because I met that girl. I need to thank her. Cake, I wonder if she'll like it. Wait, she's not here. Guess I'll come back tomorrow. Next day, she's not here again. The next day, and the day after that, I went to see that girl many times, but she never showed up. Did something happen? And a few days later... What? Jinguji quit the job? Yeah, I tried hard to keep him, but he said he can't anymore because he got bored of it. <laughs> he would do that. So, Kaiser... You're the next number one with your sales increasing rapidly. I'm counting on you. Yes, I'll do my best. As Jinguji's disciple, I'll do my best not to embarrass him. And six months later, being able to keep my position as an undisputed number one, I was able to live in a luxury mansion. Kai say, isn't your friend coming over today? Can I order expensive delivery food? Yeah, sure. And can I use your card to go to the hairdresser and nail salon? <laughs> yeah, sure. You're the best! I love you! I'm dating you for the money, of course that's normal. You're handsome, but you're not my type after all. A few hours later... Jinguji, welcome! Long time no see! I see you've been working hard as a host. Oh, uh, this is my friend, Sera. Uh, hello. My name is Kaisei. When Jinguji was a host, he helped me out a lot. Now I'm the number one host and I'm leading the store. I didn't even get the job interview. What? Who is that woman, by the way? Oh, she's my girlfriend and we're living together. I'm Kaisei's girlfriend. Nice to meet you. Jinguji is my type. I want him instead of Kaisei. He grew so much. You couldn't even make eye contact with a girl before. Don't talk about my embarrassing past like that. You're so mean, Jinguji. <laughs> what are you giggling about? I want to talk to Jinguji. Ding dong. Huh? Who is that? I'll get it. Yeah, yeah. Who is it? Wait. Who is this poor-looking girl? Is she some beggar? I'll have to kick her out! What's wrong? Who is it? Look, there's some kind of beggar! Oh, this girl! Finally! I finally found you! Uh, Sorry I'm late. I'll help you out this time. Brother! Talk to me about what happened. You can take your time. The girl's name was Asami. She gave me an explanation of what happened. I live in an orphanage with my sister because my parents are gone. But last year, my sister got sick. Asami's been taking good care of her sister. But her condition worsened recently and she needs surgery. That's why I stopped seeing you last year. But the orphanage can't pay for the surgery. That must have been hard. I'll do something about it. Why don't you come in first? What? You brought her in? A dirty girl like this will make the house dirty! She's my benefactor, and I want to do everything I can for her. Hey! I bought this expensive food for Jinguji! It's okay. We can come back another time and we'll bring the food next time. Yeah, eat up. Thanks. Ah, Jinguji is gone. 
Here, eat as much as you want. When you're done, you can wash up. Our bathroom is big, so make yourself at home. Okay. I'm going to clean the bathroom, so look after Asami. Yes. You. I don't know what you did for my boyfriend back in the day, but you better not act like you're a benefactor or something. Uh, a girl like you doesn't belong in this house or with Kaisei. If you want money, I'll give it to you. So get out of here now. Okay. <sighs> I cleaned it spotless. Uh, huh? Where's Asami? I didn't want to breathe the same air as her, so I paid her to leave. What are you doing? I told you she was my benefactor, didn't I? She came all the way here for me. I'll go find her. Hey! If she's going to be here, I don't want to be in this house. The only reason I'm here right now is because of Asami. If that's what you're going to say, get out of this house. Wh what? Asami! What the Kai say? I'm so sorry about earlier. You can stay at my place for as long as you want. I'll pay for your sister's surgery. Please, let me thank you. <laughs> thank you! Not long after, Asami's older sister Midori-san successfully completed surgery. A few months later... I'm fully recovered and will be discharged from the hospital next week. I'm so glad, sis! It's all thanks to Kaisei-san. You came to visit me in the hospital every day and I was very encouraged. Um, it was as if we had a new family. Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. Hey, why don't you two start dating already? Uh, um, I, I like you, Kaisei-san. You're okay with me? Yes, I can't live without you. I like you too, Midori-san. If it's Kaisei-san, you'll be able to make my sister happy, so I'm more than happy too! After that, the three of us started living together in my luxury apartment. I'm sorry about the other day. No, it's good to see that you're able to repay your benefactor. Yeah, you look happy. I haven't forgotten what you did for me, Jinguji. I was able to succeed because of what you taught me. I see. How should I have you repay me then? Is this the power of a host? I'm jealous. Hey, Jinguji san. Kaisei already has my sister. What? Please make my Kaisei happy. Yes, I'll do my best. No, no, no. Since when have I been yours, Jinguji? Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!